my faces. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Today we're talking about Wings of Fire. And it's the Lost Continent if by only, If Tui only T. you guys were here just a few seconds. Tui T. Sutherland. Indeed. And this is, this of course... Is the book. And if you guys are new to our channel, if you guys are new to our channel, please subscribe, hit the like button, share, uh, comment, um, and thanks to all those people who are following us because we, I'm pretty sure we're the most boring things that ever exist. So, thank you for making our content a little bit more liked than what we used to be because for the longest time we had no one and but right. ourselves and we had no friends. And that was fun. Yes. And, but it's funner now. And so if you now we have you guys. Yes. And so if you remember in the end of book 10, we find that there was a dragon that land in the, landed in the found continent i guess and they found out there you was know, a whole confused. other continent of dragons i'm confused though What's how that? is it the lost continent uh -huh. when it was never found in the first place because it's the lost continent how did columbus discover america when it was already he was trying to go inhabited? to he was trying to go to india but it was already inhabited so he was did he really find he was, it he was trying did he really to, discover it he tried to go to india and he's like oh i'm in india so he's gonna call these people indians okay anyways, history lesson anyways <laughs> this book covers a new dragon named blue uh, yes my man With, blue my boy blue you know no. nothing about him you right. literally just told me uh, all right right before the video started he's never seen old school Anyways, no. we go on. So this book is more about slavery and what... And racism. Okay, yeah. No, racism. it's not racism. Well, it is or it's prejudice. Not pre prejudices. Yeah. yeah. But it's more about slavery or having a, a group of second-class citizens, which is what we find second in this book. Second class and third class. And it's just blue, and they are... The third class what is, kind of dragons are they? The silk wings. The silk wings. Silk wings. Because they go spin, spin. Right. And, and then you have the hive wings that are just like boing, 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 boing. stabby. And you have the leaf wings. And then you have the leaf wings that are just like, I'm going to live in the deadly right. part of the island. So we so we, we have this story with Blue. The leaf wings are, are supposed to be. He's getting extinct. ready to. He, um, silk wings, when they are born, they don't have wings. No. So we're getting. They're little lizards. So once they get to a certain age, they develop wings, and we're at. But you're... Blue, he's at that point where uh, his wings could come out anytime. It's his right. sister first. Yes. And so he's basically like really close. And his then... sister Luna. Sister Luna. Right. So we kind of. Yes. So we kind of go through Blue's life. We Dude. see how Dude. silt wings are being treated. It's like. It feels like it's not really. I don't know. The way they're treated isn't... It, they're treated... I, it varies. Okay, so, like, it's not all one thing. It's um, multiple different hives. And depending on the hive you go to, the silk wings are treated differently. Right. And there are different things there. So, um, the one that he's in right now, it's like... I feel like it's... One it's, of the worst it, There's ones. definitely an unequal thing there, but yeah. it's... But they're not... But they're not unequal to the point where the high wings expect them to literally do everything for them. It's more like um, they. It's more like the high wings expect them to be under them. It's not like right. They're, yeah, like they. They. It's. It's more of a, they. They're. It's. There's an unequal balance there, but one party doesn't. But both parties believe both of them are still dragons. They. They. They believe both of them are still have right. thoughts and feelings and all that but the high wings think they're better than the silk wings yes depending on the high you go and the silk wings are treated as um, yeah. second class citizens actually, who don't have the same rights you actually see, as the high wings yeah, you actually see a um a high wing from uh another hive um another city act, react differently to how they are right because, yeah and since this is a spoiler video i'm not going to tell you exactly what happened so Right. Later, until later, until later, until the second part of the story, until the second part of the video. So, um, Blue has a special ability, and so does his sister. Fire. And so, fire. the high wings kind of, um, fire. yeah, they got fire, fire, fire silk, fire, fire, and so the high wings, fire, uh, fire. put them in another like a gulag, they put them in a little prison where they have to this do silk a, all day not a prison and they use their silk for like electricity basically like light and stuff yeah it's all not right. i feel like 
It's a, it's a, it's a prison. It's a room like, that they like, can't leave. Yeah, I feel like the hivelings there see it more like not a pri- not like the intending prisoners, but the intending workers. Because like, and yeah. that's I think that's how the silk wings there are as well. They're just like this is yeah. our job. Right. This is this is what we do. We get benefits from it, and this is our job. And here we go. Yep. And another big part of this book is clear sight. We find that these dragons worship clear sight that she's become a goddess to them basically <laughs> you know, they pray to her and if you read like if you read the prequel it's just like she's she's not like it's just somebody can see the future yeah she's just like she's just like i have an ability and i don't care but they, they worship her she's actually the high wings great 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 one of her great 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 grandmothers like she's kind of related to all the high wings and silk wings and silk wings right she's related to everything all the dragons? No, I think this no, may be the high No, wings. just, yeah. Just the high yep. She's mostly, she's, okay, she's not related to the silk wings, but she is related to the high wings because the silk, she bred with a silk wing, and then she got high wing, and now you have high wings. Yes, yeah, so you got mixture. And the high wings all have, are black and yellow. Yes. Because, and their wings are different. Yes. Well, I mean... In the sense, different color and different kind of design, but right. still four wings. Yep. So in this book, we meet two other dragons. Uh, we meet Sundu, Sundu, which is a leaf wing. Yes. And, and Baloo's um, mate. Yeah. I guess they're not really mates because they're no. not mated yet. No, they're not mates yet. She but has, she has glasses. What's her name? Her name, Cricket. Cricket. That's right. How could I forget Cricket? Whose breath somehow smells like apples when there are no trees. Nice. <laughs> You're just like, why would you remember that? But yeah. it's true. It's just like, right. it's like, it's like description. It's like, so her breath smells like apples. And now that I think about it, I'm just like, but there are right. no trees. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So one of the things that they do here, they meet uh, scavengers. I don't know. But they're not reading scavenger. monkeys. Yeah, they're not scavengers <laughs> in this book. They're, they're called reading, reading monkeys, monkeys, right? Because, because they, they don't found know what they're book. called. They don't know what yeah. they're called, but they, they saw one, one of them before. reading. And, never seen and them Cricket's just like, a oh, reading monkey! And then the fast scavenger's just like, ah! And runs away. Okay, so, and then at the end of the book, we see, well, that's spoilers. So, before we get to the spoiler part, do you recommend Book 11? Now, if you never read a single Wings of Fire book, you can start with Book 11. Yeah, I don't recommend it, though. But Because then, like, characters that are, like, super important won't seem that important. Well, in the end... So, do you recommend, not recommend? Yeah, it's definitely a recommend. They're really, it's a really good book. I recommend I mean, like, it. there are a lot of weird flaws. There's, like, a lot of flawed logic in this book. But it's still a pretty good book. Yeah, it's entertaining. I recommend it. Um, like I said, if you haven't read the other ones, uh, you would go right to book 11. You got 11, 12, and 13. And the storyline hasn't ended with 13 yet. It's still going on. Sadly, it is still coming. Yep. And I'm just like, wow. Uh, you know? Blue is a good character. He's a quiet um dragon who wants to do right kind of like you know all of them do uh what else would you say about blue i feel like he's like he's definitely not the hero type not the hero type but he's determined to do he the right do thing the right yeah, yeah and um and he's like he's kind of trying he's also kind of caught in between like is it is is what i've been learned my whole life wrong or is what i've been learned my whole life a lie so right. he's trying to Right. Trying to set, he's being like she's trying to separate facts from fig, fact from fiction. Right. He's still yeah. He's in between. Should I just keep obeying the Leap. the hive wings, or should I, help or is out. that wrong? And do, do some, be more out, independent. Right, help, yeah. Help out like a leaf wing. Or yeah. So. Help out. Well, help out other silk wings. Well, I mean, so he also has one. to help out Sunday. Yeah, but that's at the end. But he's more like, should I help out my? Because another, this is now we get to the spoilers part. So if you don't want any spoilers, stop the video here. So as we read the book, we find out there is a silk wing underground group that's gonna that's trying to rebel against yeah, the the chrysalids. Right, against the hive wings. Yes, and they're not very good at what they do. Well, dep- I guess it depends where which hive which hive they have like different hives, which basically just think of them as cities. Just like I said, they have different hives. Yep. I can't remember. Does Blue have two moms? No. I thought... Someone... No, it's Cricket. No. Yes. She doesn't have two moms. She has her 
mom and then her mom that's then her sister that's really her mom thanks for the spoiler for book 12 yeah there you go so um i just told him at book nine that's not two moms though that other one is well i guess we're doing spoilers the first one that you're mentioning is actually her grandma yeah there you so go. it's not two moms but, but like, she's acting like her mom was pretty sure Blue had two moms. I don't think he has two moms. I'm pretty Anyways, sure he, has he two doesn't moms. know. He doesn't know who his father is. He doesn't meet his father until he gets up to the hive. Yeah, and then he meets his father. Because it sounds like every once in a while they let these dragons loose so they can mate. Yeah. To create more. Uh, flame fire. Silk. Flame silk. Flo- yeah. Flame silk. So, yeah. So like, and then when he meets his dad, he's just like, "My dad is weird." Yeah. <laughs> it's just like he's like, "Is this?" But this is, he's just like, but I think this is where my life is starting to go. But his dad has good attentions because his dad keeps on writing letters to the queen to help with ideas that to help them make better flame. Um, yeah, because silk. it's like, and then it's like, yeah. oh, and like what, like um, then you have <laughs> they don't like they don't really. There's like two sides in that in there. It's like. It's like split. It's like all these other dragons think one way, and then all it's like half the dragons think this way, half the dragons think that way, and then they don't like each other. And it's like it's, it's kind of like a a mini civil war in there. Yeah. So <laughs> they're always arguing. Yeah. Of course, I mean they're in a and small then, room, so they're gonna get on each other's nerves. Yeah. So and then it's like, and then um, you have one of them that's like, she. I I didn't like this one at first because she was kind of like, eh. she was kind of odd. Um, but like, as she started, as she, uh, as like it started going on, I'm like, okay, I kind of, I understand this dragon now. She's yeah. kind of cool, and yeah. so she's rebellious. And it, it's really funny because this this dragon is hated, is not very liked by <laughs> um, Blue's dad. So right, it yeah, you got your little fractions. You got those who want to be very obedient, and then and you, you got the ones that are just like. They, oh, yeah. they kind of want to get out. They're just like, I want out, but I, don't I, know can't, how. I can't go anywhere. Yeah, right. And so, so that causes them to be a little bit more disliked, and then the ones that do want to stay are just like, I, yep. th- there are they. Some of them do want to stay. Some of them want to go. Maybe right. there's, I think there's only one that really actually. That's kind of how you'll probably would find many people who are in their situations that some will just accept their their lives as being slaves, and some who's not going to accept it and wants more. I mean, like, they're not, they're not, they, they're slaves, but not slaves. Yeah. So, on this one, I think, aren't they trying to find the book of, um... Clear Sight. Clear they Sight. They find it, don't they? They get to it, but then, I don't think they're able to steal it. Or no, they, they steal it. They're able to steal it. Yeah. They're able to steal it. And they get to know the truth. And the truth is, Nothing. she hasn't done <laughs> a prophecy for their time. In about two centuries. Yeah, two centuries. <laughs> For about two centuries, she yeah, two hundred years. Yep. No, it's no way. Or more? No, way more than that. It was about like a, five five hundred years or so. No, way more than that. Because a long, long time. It's around a thousand to a thousand five hundred, around that little area. Because there is no way there's she no. is there. It stopped at five hundred years, five hundred or hundred years ago. Because that would mean clear sight is immortal. So, right, because you. that is. If you think about it, that's two thousand years ago, and then you subtract that, it's like, wow, that's a that's a big number. She's old. Yeah. Well. Yeah. All right. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, oh no! Wait, the prophecy stopped about like five hundred years yes, ago, but right. the entry wasn't um, yeah, wasn't there. But the prophet, yeah, the prophecy was about five hundred. She stopped, stopped about five hundred years ago. All right, you guys have yeah. a great day, and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.